Well, folks, just to let you know, Brent is making his way here. He has been unable to find anything too serious that would upstage these lines this afternoon. And it's a great decision for him to come here because he can now bring another angle and perspective to all of you as to exactly what's going on. So I look forward to having Brent here, but in the meantime, we're going to continue to get spoiled by an incredible afternoon with the Kahuma Pride of Lion. water thickening alarm calling and it flew off because the lion got too close to it so that was the very distressed call of a water thickening um, I'm trying to think what the best option is now Negative. Uh, tell him to uh, approach from. There's already a vehicle on the damn wall, which makes it tricky. So you're going to have to approach from the inlet side. Okay, I think we're going to have to turn around quickly. So give me a second or two, please. That really did get my heart racing when that buffalo was so close to us chasing those lines. I have had a buffalo run into my vehicle before when being chased by a lion, and I'd prefer for it not to happen again. Uh, Brent uh, could possibly, I think, make his way on the down wall at this stage. Yeah, he can come along the down wall. Okay, well, great news, Brent's just a few more minutes away, and then we're going to be able to give you two different views. Listen, listen, listen. I thought that young male started to vocalize. Oh, what a beautiful setting this is. a little youngster coming up to greet what could well be its mother and look at their reflections as they pace along it's incredible how affectionate these animals can be with one another considering how harsh and violent and powerful they can be They've got an incredibly soft side when it comes to family members. Unless, of course, they're around the dinner table, then their friendliness is substituted with greed and they fight very aggressively with one another for food. And the youngsters decided to play with what I think is a ball of elephant dung.
another lioness is now joining from behind. And we are just getting treated to non-stop action with these cats. Lion can sleep for 18 to 20 hours every single day. So to get them up and about on the move, especially when there's buffalo in the mix, we can consider ourselves very lucky. Okay, Brent, um, I've got your visual there. I think most of them are now on this little side of the dam where you can see me, so if you come through that chute, that might be the best bet. Well, it's up to you. If you want to get a view of the young male, he's up on the dam wall, so your call. Cool. So Brent has arrived, as you would have gathered. And, yeah, that looks awesome. And he's going to provide us with some great side lights on the young male. The side lights on the male was awesome. I think he's just getting comfortable there and ready, and then he's going to swivel his torch. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And we can already say a big thank you to Brent for coming in because if it wasn't for him casting the side light, we wouldn't have this incredible, incredible view and shot of a beautiful young male lion. He's about to embark on a rocky road of discovery as it's surely a matter of weeks or months before he's going to be booted from this area. As I said earlier, his father's already getting big pressure from an up-and-coming coalition called the Styx Males. There's two of them that have apparently been chasing around this individual's father and that father's coalition member. So it's a two-on-two -two battle, but I think it's two younger boys competing with two older boys. Look at this. This is just too good to be true. Absolutely awesome stuff. And Elise has just pointed out that this surely doesn't happen very often and that I must be so happy with what's going on. And you're right, Lisa. A sighting of this quality is certainly not a daily occurrence. And I consider every single one of us present here lucky to be experiencing a magical evening now we may get some backlights on a bit lioness coming down here also from brent but she's disappeared behind the bushes we are just playing around trying to give you some different lighting angles and again a big thank you to brent for doing that back to the male oh, now the male's also coming down now well folks i'm gonna say goodbye because I know Brent would also like to say goodbye and you can enjoy the view from up on his vehicle when it's his turn but what an afternoon it's been it really really is an, a, a privilege to be able to spend evenings with wild animals like this hardly letting our presence 
even bother what they do. And thanks to VM for some great camera work this evening with the line to Nikki and Tara in final control. And we'll see you all tomorrow morning for the next adventure. Over to Brent's. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, aren't you, haven't you guys been spoilt with the, these lines? Uh, I'm lucky enough that Scott was the only vehicle here when we got back from Arethusa. Unfortunately, I had no luck with leopard tracks anywhere and um, decided to come join Scotty here and spend some time with Nkuma Pride. So, guys, it's been fantastic. Uh, being with you this afternoon. I know it hasn't been all cats and whatnot with me, but we had some fun with some frog sounds and uh, some other little interesting animals. So from myself and Brian, uh, it's been a wonderful evening. We've really enjoyed spending our time with you. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to say goodnight shortly. And thanks very much for joining us. And I can't wait to see you all in the morning. So for this last minute, we're just going to enjoy watching the lions. Uh, and as I said before, we can't wait to get out again to show you uh, the secrets of the African bush again in the morning.